Okay guys, welcome back to Ark PvP Tribe Life, and today we're doing some huge base expansions. We've done a little bit, I'm going to show you guys over the base, and show you guys what we've been up to. It's um, made a lot of progress. We made a lot of progress since you guys would have seen the base last time. Um, it's all taken shape pretty well. Because I've decided to make the server guys a no wipe server, which means that... People will be able to commit more time to it and build up their bases more than usual, so it makes it a bit more interesting. And I think I need 8, 16. I need 16 walls. I'm just going to go build a new pillbox because we've expanded the dino pen hugely because we need so much more room now with all the Rexies. And then we need ceilings. One, two... Pillars, heap of pillars, and a heap more ceilings, and some catwalks. I'll show you guys what this will look like. It's going to look like this pillbox down here. So this is a pillbox I built earlier. And it's got all the cables inside the pillar like I've done in that pillaring trick. And it's pretty cheap, so it's a really cheap pillbox. Now without suicide bombing, it doesn't really matter if your um, pillbox is less durable. So. And the dino pen's all the way over here. So the dino pen is huge now. It's expanded so much. So, this is the base. And actually at the main base, I've done a few quality of life changes too. There's a few more yeah, turrets. But we're, we're making it, it's getting pretty big, guys. I technically blocked a river, so people can't sail from the north yeah. into the redwoods. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is the other part of the base, guys. Got the trophy room here, which looks pretty cool. And uh, then up top here, this is like the sniper defense area. And we're going to have our um, tech replicator that will sit here eventually once we get to that. So yeah, the base has expanded a lot. And there's still going to be a lot more expansion to come. It's taking shape. You guys check out my beautiful trophy room. It's got great RP value. It's above the um, crafting room in the base. We're not going to get raided anymore because people are going to think we're an RP tribe. That's the sort of thing I wanted to go for. It's like everyone thinks we're just role playing. It's a good advantage, you know? It's the new, it's the new meta in Ark. So the base got hit pretty hard by the nerf to the vault size, so someone's putting a vault in here for some reason. I don't know why that is. But it needs a lot of work. So I need to fix up the cabling oh, now. Nice. What's that? Yeah, uh, little room thing with ramps yeah. going to the top room. Yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? And then up the top there, that'll be um, like everyone's stuff. So I'll make some separate rooms there for people. So this is a, a pretty cheap pillbox, guys. As you would see, the resource cost here isn't too expensive for this. Which I think is good, because you don't want... Oh my god. Place walls in the wrong spot. You don't want everything to cost too much. Like, you're going to want to put a lot of pillboxes around your base, and if you make them all really expensive, with the nerfs to metal farming now, it's going to take you a lot longer to get all set up. Now we place the generator. Yep. OK. 
Okay. So this is how I build the new pillboxes that I like. Uh, this is the new pillbox design that I've been using. And it's been pretty effective, like it's, like I said, it's just really cheap to make this. And then you basically put your pillars all the way up. And the next part is the ceilings. Which go up the, up the pillars as you build. So I need another ceiling. Go away in another wall. But this is what you need to do, guys. Like eventually, when you when you get more built up, you're gonna need to do some big try, like big expansions on your base. And your dinosaurs are your most valuable asset. So I need to build a lot more pillboxes than just this one, to be honest. So I have to build one further over here too. But it's also got to be manageable too. So that's. So it's like the hard thing, I guess. Making it manageable as well. It's functional. It's so good seeing the server, how popular it is, and it's, you know, it's, it's like a month or two old, whatever. Yep. It's crazy, dude. I haven't seen this on an unofficial server in a long time. It's a good promotion as well. We, earlier today, we had someone uh, stating that he's uh, new to the server because he watches your videos. Yeah. And I think a lot of people will keep the tone of how you portray yourself in your videos. And yeah. You know, you're pretty calm, relaxed, and you know, it's like I don't want to kill people's dinos unless we fucking have to. And yeah, that's that it. Rubs off on people. Yep. A lot of people were chiming. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and then people was like, you know, when's the server last wipe? Uh, it doesn't wipe to decay. The guy is really good. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point of the decay thing. And that's why the Arc devs put it in, is so that it, the servers can just take care of themselves. Yeah. Like I think people just think, it. like, if it hasn't wiped, they have no chance. Yeah. Yeah. But like, if if you think that, you're never gonna have a chance anyway. Like, yeah, exactly. What we seem to have going on at the moment are lots of different levels of PvP. Like, it isn't just yeah. Like, it's the alpha. There's lots of other little fights going on. If you just reach out. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of the, a lot of that's to do with having no alliance system too. That's helping the server a lot, I think. There's no and big the, alpha uh, alliance. Tribe limit. Yeah. The tribe limit is the other thing. Yeah. Because it's not as if like we're have, we're big, but we're not always we're all not on. The and there's only were, yeah. There's only ten people. Yeah. You can defend against ten people. Oh, well, it was evident the other night, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, totally. That was so much fun. Yeah, I dude. Can't wait till we do that again, but we yeah. new Bronzos. Yep, and we just gotta awesome not take the breeders this time. Holy shit! I want to have a fabricator this time. Oh, yeah. we've got, um, we need to get, is that, that gig is going to take like 24 hours to get up to max. Yeah, it's ridiculous how long it's going to take. I, I just put the egg in the fridge and it was like, I'm like, I'm not waiting. I mean, it could have been, it could have been hatched by now, but I can't be so far. If we've, if we have got the tribe team on, then we should just make a concerted effort. Yeah, so if we're doing stuff like, that, put it just in Discord so everyone knows. Next base expansion. I'm just gonna I'm um, just gonna build a beam of wall from the east to the west coast. Okay, guys. So I finished up the new little pill tower here. Obviously, it's not the best pill tower ever, but like I said, it's just cheap and quick and easy to make, and pretty, pretty um flexible too. It only requires two by two, so 
I really like this. I'm going to put another one over here when I get a chance. And probably another one over somewhere around here. So we still need a few more. But this expansion's pretty good. We needed it too. We've got our Rexies going. We've got some pretty good breeders now. And the Brontos are breeding up. We're getting some good stats on the Brontos if we get the health. Hey, Dias, did you get health on your Bronto, by the way? Uh, what was the base? What was the 19, health? One, uh, 19,000 something? No, this come out at 15. Damn, we got the bad health again. We keep getting that. Tell me it's a female, though. It is. Oh, beautiful. That's what we needed. Hell yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And I fixed up the front of the base here, so it's a bit more... Uh, a bit easy to use. A bit more streamlined. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Hopefully you um, are liking the base. Like I said, it's not too crazy because I don't change too much on my server. Um, Stat-wise and things like that. So I like to keep it close to official. Except for some of like the, the rates and stuff. So we're getting pretty happy with this base. It's going to be hard to raid because it's so up, up high on the cliff here. I think the only way to raid it would be to just bomb it with some Rexes or something. I don't even know. With the nurse to fly, this can be very hard. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And until next time, thanks for watching. You guys are legends.